Um, okay. All right. I'd like to welcome everyone to the meeting of the Amherst Design Review Board. My name is Catherine Porter and chair of the Amherst Design Review Board. I'm calling this meeting to order. Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the Open Meeting Law, GLC 30A, Section 18, and the Governor's March 15, 2020 order imposing strict limitations on the number of people that may gather in one place, the public hearing of the Town of Amherst Design Review Board is being conducted via remote participation. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but the public can attend tonight's virtual meeting by using the Zoom login information provided on the meeting agenda listed on the meeting calendar, which is provided on the Town of Amherst website. We will begin with a roll call of the members of the Design Review Board who have been impaneled for the consideration of the items on tonight's agenda. Board members, please say aye or yes to acknowledge your attendance for the record. Tom Long. Aye. Lindsay Schnarr. Yes. Janet Marquard. Aye. Erica Zikos. Also yes. in attendance is Maureen Pollock, Planner and Staff Liaison to the Design Review Board. The Design Review Board and its accompanying zoning regulations were created by the town meeting in October of 1983. The charge and purpose of the Design Review Board under Section 3.2 of the Zoning Bylaw is to preserve and enhance the town's cultural, economic, and historical resources by providing for a detailed review of all changes in land use, the appearance of structures, and the appearance of sites which may affect these resources. The Design Review Board exercises this responsibility by providing design review and recommendations to private applicants and permit granting boards within sp specific overlay zoning districts in the town center, the design review overlay district, and the town common design review overlay district. Design review was also provided for town departments and permit granting boards with respect to town projects anywhere in Amherst, which will result in substantial alteration to the form or appearance of a structure or site. All design review board meetings are open to the public and are recorded by town staff. Each meeting recording will be uploaded to the town of Amherst YouTube channel for public viewing. The procedure is as follows. The petitioner presents the application to the board during the meeting, after which the board will ask questions for the clarification or additional information. After the board has completed its questions, the board will deliberate. If the board feels it has enough information and time, it will decide upon recommendations for each respective application. Once the board has voted on its recommendations, the staff liaison will type up the recommendations for distribution to the applicant board, applicable land use board and building commissioner. Tonight's agenda <clears throat> is uh, DRB FY 2021-17. And this is uh, Antonio Diaz to review the proposed changes to the existing structure and changes in site design for outdoor dining with site furnishings and landscaping, which will affect exterior architectural appearance of a building or site. Um, and this is located at 17 Kellogg Avenue, map, map 14A, parcel 64, General RG Zoning District. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do first. Then we'll have general public comment uh, and other any other business not anticipated. So should we, Maureen, invite our applicant in? Were we going to approve the minutes first, or do that? At the well, end? yeah, I was going to do that after as it. Yeah, yeah. So I have to get this person. Do we have? Hi. Oh, there you are. Okay, good. So why don't you tell us what you're proposing? 
Hi, everyone. My name is Jen. This is my husband, Antonio. Um, we are hoping to open a Mexican restaurant at 17 Kellogg Avenue on the first floor, right behind the Unitarian Church. Um, I can go ahead and share my screen, Maureen. Is that my first step? Okay. All right. So um, here is the property in itself. Um, we are not making any structural changes to the building inside or out. Um, it's a really beautiful space as is, so we're lucky to expand our ideas within what's already um, on the premise. So I am just going to show um, first what we are proposing for our awning. Currently, it does say El Sh um, Shiro Cafe with a pink flower. And we are going to replace, um, we're hoping to replace the awning with the similar black uh, background and two agave plants um, that represents our theme of agave and mezcal, which is a traditional drink um, from Mexico. Our, Legal name and doing business as is Mexicalito Taco Bar. And here we have the address and the phone number. Underneath we have the colors of the Mexican flag just to re um, amplify our um, Mexican restaurant theme. And the only other change that we would be making outside is replacing the other signage that already exists per Shiru um, with the same agave plant um, logo, Mexicalito Taco Bar with the three colors of the Mexican flag. So nothing else on the property would be changing, um, just those two uh, switches. Um, we are doing outdoor dining. Um, and please interrupt if I'm going too fast or if you wanna ask me a question. Um, the only change that we would be doing for outdoor dining is uh, adding a fence around our patio because right now um, there is not one and we have applied and we're approved for a liquor license. So we would love to have diners enjoy uh, on the patio. We have two spaces for patio right out here. This is where the awning is. And then four or five more tables over here. My proposed fence is on this side. It's three feet off of the ground. It actually hooks right nicely into what is already existing of planters, um, which are holding um, some different vegetables. And right now we've planted some tomatoes and that's really the only um, uh, real thing we're going to do with the planters. So this would just be looking at it here. This right here is the planter and then our fence would enclose our patio right there. Okay. On the other side of the other patio, it is already enclosed, as you can see, with planters, and then there is a um, high trees that enclose our other patio. Okay. And you showed us a picture of the umbrellas. Uh, were those a specific or the just a proposed possible look? Or yeah, let me um, try and zoom in a little bit better because they're a little bit small. Um, but yeah, they are normal um, sized uh, red umbrellas. Red, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my mouse is, let me just do it manually here. I teach middle school and we've been zooming all year. So I have, I have learned a few tricks, but right now my computer is kind of stuck on this image. Let me try and um, exit the share screen and do it one more time, please. Jen, if I have, I believe I have all these um, submissions. I, I, if you're having trouble, I could pull it up on my. I got it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Sorry, okay. thank you, Maureen. Oh, no, no worries. Yep. Um, so yes, here you see what it would look like from the outside view right behind the church. Um, and here's the side looking closer to the parking lot. Okay. And then the um, the umbrellas uh, with its base, and then also the umbrellas would have um, would be illuminated. Um, we're not 
we originally thinking about maybe like string lights, but we thought it was better to have the light directly in the umbrella. So all is uh, a lot clearer towards the evening hours. And just um, to clarify, we would only be offering outdoor dining and the tables would only be outside um, within the warmer months and all would be moved into our storage area, which is in our basement um, during the winter. Okay, good. All right, <clears throat> uh, panel. Uh, questions, suggestions? I have a quick question to get us started. Jen, thanks for the presentation and uh, congrats on the new restaurant. Um, in your, in the packet that we were provided, which I believe is a slightly earlier version of what you're showing us, um, there were tables and chairs suggested. Have you chosen those? Only the, the, the chairs. Um, yes, we have the chairs. We originally did order um, the tables and they're out of stock and won't come in until September. So we're working on that right now, but we are trying to keep um, like a, a very inviting and family friendly environment. So the tables would be um, accessible to high chairs, accessible for any um, disability, but also um, the colors would also go with our theme of uh, the agave plants, like a very calm teal or blue. Um, and the, the chairs that were available are color gray. Okay. Okay. Good. Other questions, comments? I have a quick question about the fence. Um, how is that? Is that uh, permanently in the ground? Is it just on weighted? It was hard to see from the picture. Okay. No, this is on the surface. Okay. Are there gates uh, or uh, how is there one entrance into the restaurant uh, in order to uh, eat inside or outside or can you come through a gate in the fence? No, there aren't gates within the fence. There wouldn't be an entrance on this okay. corner here. Let me just move my picture box um, here is a walkway to uh, where the awning is, and that would be the entrance to the patio. Okay. Uh, Jen, could you uh, zoom out on the floor plan slash site plan and, and maybe walk uh, the Z, uh, the DRB members into, if you were to go to e either the, either of the outdoor dining areas, how would, how would that work? Do you have to go to the host stand inside? Is, so thank you. So for um, when we do offer outdoor dining, we will always have at least one runner and our hostess outside in this greeting area underneath the um, awning. Uh, the purpose of that is just to make sure everyone is um, a, a attended well and safe. And um, the other purpose is for seating. So when um, a guest comes to join us, they will come right here to where we have an outdoor post, they'll be greeted and we can walk right here. And this pathway um, leads right to where all of the tables are or if we if they prefer to sit on this side, um, it's very easily accessed. Well, you have tables, uh, looks like they're square, maybe four, but will you have some big, bigger tables for family dining or put tables together if there's a larger party. Yes, yes, absolutely. So um, we have two tables that have six seatings. Um, and if we needed to accommodate, we would be more than happy to do that for outdoor dining. Okay. Okay. Any comments about the awning that uh, we or the signage, I should say, in general. Before we jump to that, I just had another question about the outdoor sure. dining. Um, so the planters, I don't know if you showed any images or described what those will be, what, what those materials are. Thank you. Um, they are in existence. They were there when we came. We are not modifying them at all. Um, I mentioned that we had planted some vegetables. We're going to try and do our best with growing some tomatoes there if it permits. <laughs> um, however, it is made of, um, they're very similar to the, the wooden boxes that Amherst uses. However, they don't have wheels. They are um, in the ground. Um, and just to show you here, um, they are what encloses all of this space. Yeah, I don't have an actual physical picture That's of okay. them. I, I mainly just want to know what material they are. So there's two, 
it looks like there's two options for the fencing. There's the option one that you're showing that's like a resin material. Um, and then the option two, is that a wood fencing? Um, is that something that, are you considering both options at this point? Um, we were looking at both options. I think the best is going to be this um, lighter weight um, because we cannot drill into the floor of the patio. And I know that there are some code issues for um, stabilizing the, uh, the fence. So this is the, I think the best um, next move for us. We were working um, with Maria on looking at the options. And I think that this is what we found would be the best option for us. Have you already purchased them? No. Okay. I, I do just think that aesthetically, especially with the adjacent wood um, planters, they, they just, they read very heavy and a little, um, you know, both, both heavy in terms of just a lot of bulk and material and, um, you know, kind of plasticky. So I, I would, be inclined to push that a little bit and advise to maybe consider some other fencing options. I hear you about the base and wanting to make sure that they're safe and practical. But the image, at least the, you know, the kind of aesthetic that's shown on the bottom um, certainly reads a lot cleaner. And, um, and I could imagine that over time, you know, it, it, I just think that that fencing really kind of detracts from the aesthetic of that patio space. Um, and, and I'd like to hear other people's views on that. But, um, you know, if there is another option that's, that's practical for you, I might, I might suggest trying to find something that's a little bit lighter overall, just in, in the look especially, and, and perhaps has more of a natural wood type of, um, or metal sort of material. Any other uh, comments? I didn't I did, have a problem. Go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to point out. I, I did. I just pulled up Google Street, and um, uh, I can get <laughs> an image. I can show everyone the uh, image of um, the wooden uh, planters if if yeah. folks want to see that. Um, okay. My comment is also regarding the planters, and that is that um, because they're uh, brown, I'd love to see them be painted to be consistent with the color of. Yeah. The fence so that That's there's at least that. at least that border as it changes its material and its height um, has a consistent color. Yeah. That was exactly my thought that that might make it look more cohesive with the fence that's there. But you're saying, uh, Lindsay, a lighter fence, maybe not with the posts not so close together. I think Is it's a I think it's partly the resin material and the lattice combination. Yeah, okay. It's just, they're very bulky. Um, and so I, you know, I think that absolutely if there's a, a simple way to kind of like bring the planters and the fencing <clears throat> together in terms of paint and color, that'd be great. But I think the fencing, will, and I'm glad you brought this screenshot or this um, street view up, Maureen, thank you, because I, I was actually thinking that it's pretty hidden from view, like where the fencing would be, because it's kind of just around that one corner, but it's actually against the parking, right? So it would be pretty visible. Um, so, you know, I, I don't think it's a deal breaker. I just, I think my suggestion as somebody who would walk by there and potentially, you know, hopefully go eat there, I think that that fence just could be a little bit more refined. Is there a possibility of adding more of the same planters to have it all match? Um, we did talk to Maria about that. I think the ones that um, we have seen so far, we would have to check how they would need to be attached to the ground. Um, that would be my only concern. Um, so it's as long as we wouldn't have to drill into the ground because of the existing gas or, or any kind of pipe um, that's there. Um, then we are absolutely open to exploring more options and especially if it's more cohesive and a little less um, disruptive if it flows and, and, and kind of closes the area in more of a united way, it will seem more, um, it, it will flow better, we agree. Well, they, the ones that are there probably aren't attached, it's just the weight 
of the dirt and everything it probably just sets them on the ground. I doubt that they're yeah. attached. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. I will ask Maria about um, options for that. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I, don't I have a thought. Board thinks about it. But. Yeah. Um, one thought. I, I hate to be a sort of put down fresh vegetables, but um, I think those planters, because they really are an integral part of the whole presentation. Um, I'm not sure tomato plants are really going to uh, guarantee that they'll be attractive enough. And so I'm suggesting maybe not tomatoes, maybe herbs or maybe flowers uh, because tomatoes can get sort of scsaggy and that I don't think that's the look you want either. Uh, Absolutely. But, yeah, so that that's just the thought. I mean, but I like the idea of vegetables, maybe more attractive vegetables. So I don't know what others think about that, but um, so where are we? What what are we? Uh, Tom, do you, did you have some, you want to weigh in on this? No, no, I'm I'm okay with with the the fencing. I mean, I I know that there are probably other options out there, and I do like the idea of the planters replacing that if that's something that's possible. Um, but you know that's a that's an aesthetic choice, and you know I, I would like to see them more integrated. But it's also cost, and so you have to evaluate how much that's uh -huh. you know a, a vinyl versus a natural wood metal would cost. And I understand that's also one of your limiters. So I think take that with a sense of consideration. Um, and in terms of you know the awning, which is really the kind of big change in that landscape, I, I think that they you know they they're fine, they fit right in with what's there now. Um, there's nothing too offensive about them or um, you know, out of place. So I don't have any con concerns okay. about that. Okay. Can I ask why you went from the cream color to black? Um, I, you had originally the creamier color and then you switched them to the black, right? Yeah, I think, um, I think for just, for one call it one solid color. Um, we looked at a lot <laughs> of different kind of combinations and we don't really have anything else that's cream. Um, so that was what we found to be the most cohesive. Why, why I don't, I, I don't have aesthetic um, concern with it. I just know that black shows everything and uh, like we've just been through almost to the end of pollen season here and stuff falling off of trees and, and I mean, if you have a black car, you notice it looks dirty immediately um, and they may fade. I don't know if they're gonna be, you know, how they're gonna do in the sun, but the cream color, it seems to me is more forgiving in terms of just looking neat and tidy all the time. Just that's kind of an observation that has nothing really to do with the aesthetics of the yeah, yeah. design itself. I like the black, but you make a good point. I think the black's very dramatic and it really pops there, but, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna collect pollen. Yeah, and everything else. Yeah, so, um, so that's, I, I, so I, I, in that respect, I think you've sort of heard um, some thoughts on that, but it's up to you as to, you know, how you proceed with your, with your awning. And so I, I don't know if there's a consensus about the, the fencing and the planters are, is there an agreement that we keep that the planters remain as they are, but maybe be painted the same color as the fence? Is that was that one suggestion? Uh, trying to yeah. that was a suggestion, but it's kind of in a in a in a range of explorations. I think what we need to do is decide whether we would approve the fence that is suggested, right, and then also suggest that the planter existing is is painted to match or yeah. if we would insist that a fence alternative be proposed right yeah um whether that's a planter or another fence right. option right yeah well, well tom agreed he's okay with the fence i personally am okay with the fence but we, we have others and so <clears throat> the rest of you could weigh in are you okay with particularly the black fence with the black awning. Um, when everything starts to change, then that can, 
uh, maybe cause a bit more confusion. But so, what are you thinking, Erica? Are you okay with the with the fence, or are you you're proposing something? No, I'm I'm okay with the fence. I mean, I do agree with Lindsay that it looks a bit um, heavy, but I I don't want to hold this project up. Um, and I think that it's it does not offend my sensibilities enough to okay. it, it want a delay. Okay, okay. Jan, fence. Um, I, I'm not crazy about the fence. I'd rather see um, more of the same planters, but if you do use the fence, which, you know, that's up to you, I wouldn't paint the wood because I think it will start looking worn and, and tattered. I think natural wood wears It's not natural. Brown. It's already painted brown. Is it painted brown or is it just brown? Okay. Well, in that case, then maybe yes. Um, but I don't, I don't, it doesn't really bother me that the fence is a different color from the planter. Oh. Um, I'd rather not see it, but you know, that's okay. fine. You'd rather not see it painted. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'd rather not see the fence. I'd rather see more matching planters, but if oh, that's okay. cost prohibitive, then yeah. Go with the fence. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right, Lindsay. Uh, yeah, and I, I definitely would, would never insist that in order for this to be approved that you provide an alternative to the fencing as just okay. a consideration. Yeah. And Good. as everyone pointed out, I mean, it's, it, there's many factors to be considered and um, it's, it's just a, it's just a, a response that you can, you know, think about and um, make decisions based on that. And I would I would tend to agree that if you do go with that fence that I think that painting the planters to match makes sense. Yeah, okay, okay, all right. Well, I think now we've uh, given our recommendations and- What, what do folks, uh, I know Catherine had mentioned about maybe not tomato plants. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know if everybody else feels that way. I, yeah, I how do others feel about that? Plants, but I feel like it's gonna look really scaggy easily or they're gonna break and then you're gonna, yeah. But you could you know, try it. It's, it's there's first. quite a bit of, there's quite a bit of planter area. So, you know, I think you could, that doesn't have to be a permanent decision. You can right. feel it out and see what works and what yeah. grows and what looks yeah. nice. and. If you want tomato plants pruned um, so that they don't get rambling um, but still have fruit, you know, in the closer part of the plant, they look okay. It's when they start to spread too much. Yeah, yeah. Well, sure. Why not give it a try? Yeah, I mean, I think you can mix it up though, right? I mean, I think if you had some <clears throat> mixed in some herbs and tomatoes and kind of different Kale. sections, uh -huh. you'd have some green, some other things. Yeah. Some green. So I yeah. think, you know, trust your gut in terms of, you know, what goes there, but I think it'll enhance the experience if there's different scents. And I mean, it'll be a really yeah. beautiful, yeah. Um, you know, environment if you, if you get that mixture right, so. It's a good message that, you know, fresh food. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. right there. Uh -huh. And so yeah. it would be safe to say that the board would, would encourage that there are uh, vegetables, herbs, flowers, whatever it's going to be, but it will be on a seasonal basis uh, 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 each year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's no big deal if the I mean, plan doesn't work. If it works, then yeah, just as long as it isn't allowed to get really sort of dried out and dead and messy looking. Because that's yeah, that's what that's a bad image for our, our recipe. Right. So we will definitely <laughs> make sure that that's an yeah. inviting and okay. and fresh look. Good. Okay. And are folks fine? Um, how do folks feel about the color of the tables and chairs? Tables would be uh, like teal or green and the chairs would be gray and the umbrellas will be red with yeah. illumination underneath. So so the, it'll, there will be like a, how would, that, how would that attach to the umbrella? It's on the ribs, um, isn't it? Yeah, they go right. It goes right into the where it opens. If this was the umbrella, it's right at the top, and it illuminates down over the table. Where so it's this is some kind of on a cell or a battery, or are there going to be? Cool? Yeah, they're battery operated. Oh, all right. oh okay. okay. Yeah. So I was going to say that got me worried about like, oh no, is this going to be like a fire hazard? But or it's battery. Running around. Okay. Yeah, it's great. Um, okay. And then I think that was it. And the sign and awning. Uh, do folks had um, any comments about that? Well, I'm, I was fine with it. And I, I think Jan made a, a, a Jan, a, 
made a good point about black being somewhat of a <clears throat> a color that probably is going to attract everything, but you just may we'll find to out. Talk more often. I think black looks. Yeah, that's right. Okay. My only, I think it looks nice as well, and I, I really love the the Mexican flag color detail. Um, it's just it's very minimal. So I don't know if you're still in the design process at all. If you're done with it, then I would say it's great as it is. If you're if you're so in discussion about it, I think just adding a little bit more depth to that band might help, especially in, in on the signage too might just help it to be a little more noticeable because I think it's a nice detail that just goes a little bit understated. Yeah, yeah, okay. So uh, what's the status of the awning? Is it already uh, um, produced or could you add a bit more color? Yeah, yeah we, can add, we can absolutely add. We're I think still that's on a great design. suggestion. Uh, Jen, could you uh, pull up the, the sign? Uh, design design so we can take a closer look at so this is in the exact location um where the shoe sign is and so we could definitely um add an inch or so of color here um as lindsay was right, suggesting so down. that um it's a little more recognizable yeah. yeah yeah what do you think the height is currently is that an inch? I, I have no concept of dimensions <laughs> right now. Um, no, I, I think it's very small. I don't think we have it officially um, measured out. So the person that is helping us in design it, we can ask for it to be a little more profound yeah. and um, wide so that it, it if oh. it was a foot, then uh, maybe two inches to three inches of the actual color of the Mexican flag and then the rest be the Mexicalito with the agave plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are probably four inch bricks, so you can more. Mm. Yeah, I would say, you know, double doubling the depth that it is or thickness that it is now would be a place to start and it could be even maybe just a, a tad more. So yeah, I think that would be a nice. Yeah. Yeah. Addition. Did you go to the awning. Jen. Yeah. May not be quite as much room, but. The green does not stand out, um, but I don't know there's anything you can do about that. But How do folks feel about if the depth of that band is widened or heightened, however you would say that? Uh, do folks feel that the depth of it could should be the same um, height for both of the signs or does that matter? Does that not matter? I don't sense? think it matters because this is a very different, um, we've got some limitations on this, uh, be, the awning because it drops down with the phone numbers and everything. So it's also a different ratio, like the band, yeah. it's, you know, this is probably Photoshop, but it, the band of the, the vertical face is a little, looks, looks a little shorter uh -huh. than the, the height of the sign. So proportionately, like the the colored band takes up more space. But I would say, you know, again, I would just, I would be inclined to just look at what happens if you give it just a little bit more thickness, um, not so much that you're, you know, running out of room for the text, but um, it's just a nice detail. So I think just even yeah. a little bit more might. Help. Yeah, I agree, it's a good suggestion. Any other suggestions or questions about the signage or the, planters, fence, furniture. What, what is in the middle between those two windows on the brick? Is that some, is that something you're planning to? Uh, that is part of Lincoln Real Estate. Um, mm -hmm. They had a sign here and then the mount below is. Is lovely something. Yeah, that was pre-existent. We're not planning on doing anything with it. I can talk to the building owner to see if maybe we can place like our menu yeah. here. Um, but we would we don't have specific plans for it at this time. Or a graphic or something. I just think it's a it's a nice area to be able to consider. Or if you if you do end up with signage on the windows, maybe it's nice to have the relief of nothing. But um, I think taking that away, if nothing else, <laughs> the existing 
board signage that's there on the brick and then considering something that you know is more um, in line with your branding mm -hmm. if, if possible so, are you doing any signage on the windows or the doors because that didn't come up in the discussion tonight um, so on the inside, Shuo Cafe in one of their windows had a circular um, lamp that would light up mm, like their logo. Um, and we're hoping to add that. It can be seen from the outside, but it's not a, a, anything that goes on the window or on the outside of the building. Mm -hmm. It's just something that you can see from the outside. And it's the only thing that that is would be this agave plant. Um, and that's kind of our, our logo, and that's going to be stamped onto our bags and, and hopefully recognizable as our brand. Um, I do see when um, Maureen pulled up the Google Street View, um, Shiro Cafe has a, a flag um, up at the second story level on Kellogg Avenue. Um, mm -hmm. It serves as signage. There it is. And I was wondering if that's something that you are looking ahead to. Yeah, we've taken it. We've taken it down for now. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're planning on adding anything there. Okay. Okay. So, are you leaving the shrubbery in around the end of? Okay. And then there'll be a sign. I mean, a fence within that shrub, inside the shrubbery. Is that right? Or no. not? No, the shrubbery serves as a fence. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, maybe. I don't know whether legally it, it, you had to have a fence there. So the fence won't start until the end of the planter, or will it? On the other side, yeah. The fence won't be on this side that we're looking at here. The fence would be only on the other side that um, encloses from the parking lot. These shrubs have grown quite a bit since then, and, and they really, it's very thick. You can't see. Um, yeah. Or walk through. So I oh, think that the um, yeah it looks good. I didn't know whether legally you had to have something. I thought made. you had a tiny piece of fence at the end um, from the sidewalk heading towards the door, just a little bit. Bench. Towards it. But I saw that on your application. No. Could you bench, pull that up? Jen? We can just verify. That. Yeah. Let me share the screen again. I think it's a bench. Um, oh. Okay. But let me triple check that I have the right area that you're looking at. So right here is just oh, a, a, a bench okay. for um, those who are waiting. That would be at the hostess station. For that makes sense. And could you show the 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 our, our, I think there are varieties on the sidewalk uh, at the edge of the sidewalk to Kellogg Street. Uh, is that this? the shrubs that the really oh, tall yes. shrubs? Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to manipulate again the so there. Right yeah, here, is that what you're saying? Okay, mm -hmm. all right, good. Okay. So is alcohol not being served at this section? Yeah. Um, or yeah. is this gonna be fully enclosed? Yeah. No. Um, this this um, was approved as oh, okay. being fully enclosed for an alcohol purpose, both but, on both all sides. Right. That was my concern that, mm -hmm. yeah. all right. Okay, any other uh, comments, suggestions? If not, um, could we have a motion to uh, uh, approve the site based on our recommendations? Maureen, does that seem like something, would that be the most appropriate motion we can make? Sure, okay. um, yeah, with the, with the suggestions, which include, you know, uh, it, and please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, plant, plant. I think everyone was in agreement to plant, plant the. Sorry, plant the planter boxes to match the fence. Mm -hmm. uh, mix in vegetables with herbs and flowers, and kind of just be creative um, mm -hmm. and provide that. Um, pr provide uh, planting each year on a seasonal basis. Um, the board's fine with the signs, umbrellas, tables, and chairs. Add more depth of the um, coloring um, bands on the yeah. sign and awning. Yeah and um, the existing sign on the west side, building facade, um, consider having imagery or, or a menu um, there. Okay, okay, very good. Plus options we suggested for the fence. To, re to consider other yeah. options, right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I so move. 
Our, <laughs> okay. Well, that, so, okay, I moved in Tom, second. Then. Tom second. And <laughs> can work it out. <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay. I moved in second. And any uh, further discussion? If not, uh, let me just call the roll. Lindsay? Yes. Erica? Yes. Tom? Yes. Jan? Yes. Okay. And you me, and me. Okay. All right. There you go. Well, good luck. We'll we'll be anxious to come down and get a taco. Yeah, Thanks thank so you. much. Yes. <laughs> it looks really well, really well thought out. So yeah. thank you. Yeah, you've done a nice job. Really we nice. show up en masse, so watch out. Have a table for all of us. <laughs> Looking Sorry? at the fence. I said yeah. we might show up en masse as a group. <laughs> We'd be happy to see you. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time. Yeah, but Thank we pay you. for our own meal. So <laughs> you're welcome anytime. Thank you. Thank All you right. both. Good luck. Take yeah. care. Bye bye. Okay. We have four minutes. Do you guys want okay. to approve uh, the, the, the minutes? minutes. Uh, okay. Uh, the minutes from what date were they? I uh, believe that was June May, 10th. May 10th. May 10th. Thank May, you. Sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm ahead of myself. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes from May 10th? That you all can. I already about. sent my edits in. Okay. He included them. So. Okay. Anybody else? Tom. Uh, yeah. Tom is not listed as present. Oh, he was not that day. Ooh. That's right. He Good catch. Sorry, Tom. Yeah. He wasn't present, was he? Well, well, what was? Sorry, now I'm getting all oh, confused. Oh yeah, he's got comments from him. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was there. Uh, I didn't even notice that I wasn't listed as present. You're right. I well, read I, the rest of them, and I'm like, oh, I said that. We cut Sorry. you out. You didn't look at him carefully. Ha -ha. <laughs> and, uh, all right, I'm adding that in right now. Right. Sorry. Uh, with that kind of stuff, I'm I am just purely cutting and pasting from previous yeah. minutes. So sorry. You weren't at the previous meeting to that. So so, so sorry. <laughs> okay. No all right. If there are uh, we any other further suggestions, corrections. If not, do I hear? I move we approve the minutes from May 10th. Thank you, Tom. Second. <laughs> uh, all in favor, Lindsay? Yes. Okay, Erica? Yes. Catherine, yes. Okay. I think, uh, Maureen, this concludes uh, our everything on our agenda. And so, oh, uh, actually, <laughs> right? Um, well, we do have the technically, we do need to do the general public oh, comment sorry, period. Comment. Sorry, due to the, um, but let's see if. Uh, due to the uh, town charter so so if any member of the public w wishes to speak about anything not on tonight's agenda you can either um, press the raise your hand button or press star nine okay, okay. no one no one's yeah, indicated right all right then um do i hear a motion to adjourn jam Oh, I moved it. I moved it again. I move we adjourn. All right. Tom. <laughs> All right. All in favor to adjourn, say aye. 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 Okay. Great. So when do we meet the uh, next time, Maureen? June 7th? Let's see here. It'll be June June 2nd, which is next okay. Thursday. I can't okay. recall if I sent you each a panelist link yet, but I will tomorrow okay. and Very with good. the agenda. Once um I guess I need to remind I need to remember to post the agenda tomorrow and I'll send you all, all right. that with the Zoom. Okay. Info. Very good. Okay. All, all right. right. Thank you. With one minute okay. to spare.